hey y'all welcome back to my channel i've been trying to upload this video for a while i've looked through several links every video would not play for some reason they have removed a lot of videos about this case this young man named rasheem carter was murdered last year and this case went cold for a while and now it's back in the media because they have got ben benjamin crump involved and they're getting the fbi involved because this child was murdered Okay, it says, Mississippi man who went missing found with head severed, attorney says. So let's see if this video will play. This was not a natural killer. This was not a natural death. This represents a young man who was killed. His head was severed from his body. His vertebrae, his spinal cord was in another spot they discovered away from his severed head they have recently found remains that they believe are also received carter at another part of where he went missing and what that tells us is that this was a nefarious act this was an evil act. Somebody murdered Racine Carter. And so today, we are calling for the Department of Justice to open an investigation as to what happened to Rasheem Carter. Somebody seen what happened to Rasheem. And it doesn't make any sense at all because the text message that his mother got before he went missing. On um, October the 1st, my son texted me. This was after uh, him and I had gotten off the phone. He said, me and the owner of this company, not seeing eye to eye, mama. His name I, which I can't say at this time, but if anything happened to me, he's responsible for it. I'm too smart, Mama. He got these guys wanting to kill me. And that's what he sent to me. This was well, now we know why the video won't play. They have a picture of his skull, and his head is clean cut, where somebody possibly cut his head off with maybe an axe or some type of cutting tool. This is terrible. Um, I remember this story on social media. I remember him being at work. I was reading where he had, he was at work in some kind of way. He ended up walking. So let's see what some of the uh, report is saying down here about the details. Details on this. Um, I know it was in Taylorsville where his body was found. But he was originally in Laurel, Mississippi. Um... They say he was reported missing two days after his last known sighting in Laurel, last October, days after telling his mother, Tiffany Carter, and the police about being targeted by white men in the community, his mother said at the press conference. And around a month later on November the 2nd, some of the 25-year-old's remains were found in a wooded area south of Taylorsville. Um, the sheriffs were saying they had no reason to believe foul play was involved. Uh, when they found Carter's body last year. Of course, they're going to say that. And then the medical examiner is saying the cause of death is undetermined. But I'm going to tell you all something about those uh, medical examiners and those coroners. Some of these people that are the coroners and some of these small places have been the coroner for 30, 40 years. And what they do is they work with the police department when the, sh when the shady things going on. And they'll rule something just a suicide or they'll rule something as natural causes just to cover up a lot of these things that happen. Um, this young man got trapped out of his life. He knew he was in danger and it was just too late. People couldn't get to him in time. It says Carter's head was severed from his body with his spinal cord recovered in an area separate from his head. I hope they get to the bottom of this and get who did this shit because this is for the birds. This is this child's um, skull. This is his skull. This is a clean cut. That's a clean cut. 
that's done with cutting equipment. Yeah, they caught him and uh, they did what they used to do back in the day, the good old days, where they could catch somebody slipping. And, and like I say, when you're in these places, rural, anywhere rural in America, you're in trouble. You don't have to be in the South. You can be anywhere rural, anywhere where you're away from a very large metropolitan city, you're in trouble because those people have those same ideologies in those places today as they did back in the day. Um. I hope this family get justice. This is horrible. I will leave a link to this article in the comments section, and you guys stay safe out there. Peace.